Have you ever wondered, is a goose really a bird? How did humans evolve? Nowadays, it only takes a minute to get the answer to these questions. However, Charles Darwin spent almost a lifetime proving the authenticity of evolution. Let's delve into the life of father of the theory of evolution, Charles Darwin. One, high-class boy with the intention of becoming a doctor. Charles was born on February 12, 1809, the sixth child in a family with a doctor and a businessman as parent. Growing up in a large and beautiful house with a vast estate, young Charles lived a comfortable life. At the age of 16, concerned about his son's playful nature, Charles's older brother and father sent him to study medicine at the prestigious Edinburgh School. Later, he continued his studies at Christ's College, but academic pursuits didn't capture his interest. This an excellent naturalist. Are you kidding? No kidding. Come to part two, the path to becoming a great man who goes down in history. To the destined world travel adventure. Although he was a playful boy, Charles had a profound love for nature. At the age of 22, a friend introduced him to a voyage around peninsulas and countries filled with flowers and grass. Without hesitation, Darwin set sail, unaware that this would be a fateful journey in his life. The five-year journey from 1831-1836 took him around the tip of South America to the Pacific Islands, the continent of Australia and the southernmost part of Africa. The crucial stop was the Galapagos Islands, formed by underwater volcanoes, where he observed unique creatures like giant tortoises and unusually colored penguin. The types of animals here cannot be found anywhere else such as. Turtles are giant in size. Penguins have very unusual colors. From here, Doan believes that over time, Creatures and animals will change their appearances to adapt to the place where they live. After collecting numerous fossils and witnessing the changes in nature during earthquakes, he realized many mysteries of nature, such as the evolution of bird species. Upon returning to England, he compiled his journey's knowledge and published his travel journal, gaining his first recognition. Three, an intriguing merit, a fascinating aspect of Darwin's life, was his reluctance to let marriage interfere with his passion for nature. After much consideration, he followed the principle of inbreeding marriage at that time. He married Emma, his cousin. They had 10 children together and moved to Down House in Kent. He continued to publish publications on botany and geology. At that time, Dewan was always tormented by a thought that could shake the world. That is, four, the theory of natural selection and controversy. After studying various animal species, Darwin presented arguments contrary to prevailing beliefs and religions at the time, proposing that humans evolved from earlier animal species. In 1859, his groundbreaking book on the origin of sp was published and helped his name become the most discussed topic at that time. Darwin argued for the similarities between humans and other mammals and presented evidence of racial diversity among humans. His arguments were perceived as challenging religious beliefs and lacking respect for God. Nevertheless, his ideas laid the foundation for the development of biology. In his later years, Darwin published papers on reptiles and continued geological research. He passed away in 1882, leaving behind invaluable resources for future generations. 5. Interesting facts of him, one passionate about fashion. As a wealthy family son, Darwin didn't worry much about his living expenses during his school years. According to records, he spent over S630, 46,000 pounds. During his two years of study at Edinburgh, he had a strong liking for buying shoes and wearing clothing typical of the upper class at that time. Two illness for over 20 years. All of his outstanding works were created while he was suffering from severe illnesses. After the five-year voyage, he contracted various diseases. However, his love for nature helped him overcome all challenges. E3. Many things named after him. Several species of animals and plants have been named in Darwin's honor, such as Darwin's frog and Darwin's finches. One of the places he visited is also named after him, Darwin Island. Or, he couldn't stand the sight of blood. For those wondering why young Darwin couldn't become a doctor like his father, this might be the reason. 
His notes reveal that, during a surgery, he couldn't bear the sight of blood and had to leave. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and goodbye.